Welcome back to another video. Been a while since I've done one like this, but I, uh, there's something going on when it comes to AI and the ability of AI. I don't know why the fuck I stutter so much. It fucking drives me nuts. And the reason um, that it's so concerning is that recently Microsoft has said that they're partnering with this company that's going to drive AI solutions for creators and if they want to develop characters and stories and worlds, then the AI can do that for them. And of course, right now, it's being used as a tool to help the creators. It's not replacing them. But you know, you know that any corporation, if they have a chance to get rid of somebody or get rid of fucking everybody, then they're going to do it because it saves them money. So traditionally, technology has uh, has sort of, you know, pushed uh, labor jobs, like, you know, plowing a field or something like that. Like technology comes in and you don't need the horses, you don't need the yoke, you don't need the guy, you know, driving the horse through the field, uh, you know, doing whatever they're doing. The machine comes in, takes care of that, that guy's out of a job. Think about like your local convenience store, right? Growing up, we had these local mom and pop shops. You would go into the store. You knew the guy, the gal who, I said gal, girl who owned, fucking gal, the, the girl who owned the store. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, you knew them. You had a conversation with them. You knew what was going on. They told you when the, you know, the fresh, the fresh fruit was coming, the fresh tomatoes were coming. They would put them aside for you. Now, you know, because of technology, automation, you walk in and it's the fucking, you know, boop, boop. And if you can't scan it, then they got that one person you know, behind the counter standing there like a dummy waiting to come over with the key, put it in, reset the machine, then you're right back to boop. It used to be, you know, four people at a register. You walk up, you pay for the stuff. Hey, how you doing? So I get the technology pushes those kind of people out of work. Horrible, but it happens. But now it seems like... You know, these companies are saying, we got rid of all the people that we could have got rid of because of automation and computers and whatever we needed to do to get rid of them because we want to get rid of them. But how do we get rid of these fucking pesky people who who can, you know, write great stories, these writers? How do we get rid of these people <clears throat> who are really great at art and drawing and creating things? How do we get rid of these people who are great at actually... Uh, programming a computer to create these things that the writers and the artists give them to create. How can we get rid of these fucking pesky people who we still have to pay? I mean, technology has managed to get rid of all these other jobs, right? Automation, making things easier, has managed to get rid of all these other people, but we can't get rid of these pesky, creative people. How do we do it? Ooh, I know. AI. So, two people in particular, and uh, I'll put it up on the on the screen. Uh, one of them was uh, Colt Eastwood, and the other one was uh, fuck, Al Alana Pierce. My mind, I don't know what the hell's going on. Uh, so, these are two. Now, I don't know these people. They could be wonderful people. Go to church every Sunday. Feed the homeless. Whatever. But um, two examples of extremes on one side or the other so you've got alana pierce who i'm assuming is a a creative person a writer some kind of i think she works for sony now saying that she will never you know buy or work on anything created by this company and i think the company is called in world or something like that uh i should have probably had notes but i don't i don't give a fuck and the other company I mean, the other side of the argument was this cult guy saying, you know, well, you know, uh, automation has made things easier. Uh, and unfortunately, some jobs had to go away. But in the future, it'll always be driven by creative people. OK, so she's taking the point of view where it's going to be the extreme. All of these creative people are going to be put out of work. He's taking the position where that's not going to happen now. You know, to say that. Maybe the guy is a little bit pro Microsoft would be like saying I'm a little bit Italian. Like, come on now. Like, really? Uh, but he has a point. You know, the point I made was automation got rid of a lot of jobs, but they didn't get rid of the jobs that required 
people with, uh, you know, some sort of talent that couldn't be replaced by a machine. So, you know, you can't replace an artist. You can't replace somebody who can write these amazing stories. You can't replace somebody who knows how to program and take those stories and take that artwork and make it something on the screen. Or can you? And that's where I feel like we should really be careful. And you think about this. Think about the blues. I'm a musician. I play the piano. I've been playing for forever. So think about a type of music like the blues, right? Uh, how do you, who writes the blues? Uh, how do you even figure out how to make uh, a song uh, the blues? You have to live through something. You have to have some kind of experience and emotion and uh, something has to impact you for you to sit down and then say, I'm going to write about this experience that I had, a personal experience. I'm going to put it into this music and I'm going to make it great. A machine can never do that. A machine can't have an experience. A machine doesn't have a life experience and grow and learn and have things happen to it and take all those experiences and put them into that type of music. It just can't happen. It can copy. It may be able to copy extremely well. But if we're saying that copying is now the same as, you know, uh, Scott Joplin sitting down and writing something on the piano, then I don't know where the fuck we're headed because, because it seems like, you know, you've got some people defending this, defending this sort of, you know, push towards, I don't know what it is, just this artificial everything. And then you've got other people who are sounding the alarm, maybe a bit extremist, right? We're not there yet, but you just know that companies like Microsoft any company, okay, any company, if they were given the opportunity to get rid of everyone, I mean everyone, like we, I really fucking hate we have to pay this artist because he he or she really can draw very well. I really hate that we got to pay this writer because they write these amazing stories and these plot lines that are so engaging and engrossing. I hate the fact that we got to pay these people because we don't have to pay everybody else, like the guy who sits in the security booth. We don't have to pay him. We just had this giant fucking camera. We don't have to pay anybody to do security. We don't have to pay anybody to do landscaping in the in the building because, you know, it's just all automated. We don't have to pay anybody to do anything. But there are these jobs that are left over from automation. Automation can't get rid of these people. And we got to figure out a way to do it. You know corporations want to do that. So... I feel like when you look at both of these people, the one side saying, I'm not, you know, I'm never buy a game. I'll never contribute to any, anything like this. And the other side saying, well, you know, automation, blah, 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 blah. It struck me as, you know, uh, who do you believe? You know, do you believe the guy who's like in love with Microsoft and everything that they do always has a you know, there's always a golden side to it. It's never just nefarious. Hey, well, AI is just going to help people. That's all it is. And I don't know about that. I mean, we can get to the point where, you know, you've got just like the checkout line, you've got one person standing there and then a bunch of machines, boop, boop, the fucking barcode scanner. You could have one person sitting there at Microsoft Game Studios and, all right, let me feed this into the computer. Uh, I need an action-adventure game. Third person. Let's make it third person. Here's here's what we can have. Here's what we can't have. Here's who you have to worry about offending. Here's all the things that are going to be in there. Enter. I mean, is that person credited with being creative for pushing a friggin' button? Of course not. So I feel like it's very very sketchy to say that we have an AI solution to things that shouldn't really have an AI solution. You shouldn't sit there and say to yourself, you know, hey, you know, the guy who, who wrote those really great blues songs, he went through all of those experiences. You know, that one song was about something. That other song was about something and how it affected them and the emotional reaction they had to it. it it's all in the music and it's all in the lyrics. We can replace all of that with a machine. If you're out there 
And I see it now. Young kids are just like, they don't give a fuck about anything. They just don't care. Right? I mean, you got people putting AI voices into things, and people are like, oh, that's fucking great. How creative. You didn't do anything. The machine did it. So if we replace creative people with a machine, then I, I'm just not there, man. I, I just don't know how anybody could be for that, and I don't know how anybody can't be sounding the alarm like the uh, Alana Pierce person is. I get it. Uh, and I get the fact that, you know, there are people who are threatened by this. Like, you can't tell people we want everyone to, uh, you know, contribute. We're seeking out talented people. And then behind closed doors, you know, signal that you have something that may in the future just get rid of everybody because you know that's where it's going to go. It's inevitable. Corporations do not want to pay people. And if they're given the ability to get rid of everyone, then they will. Automation is great. Like I said, nobody wants to be out in the field 16 hours a day in the fucking heat with two horses and a yoke going through the going through the, the, the fucking ground, putting the seeds in. Nobody wants to do that. It's a lot of work. Here comes machines to do that. I get that. Yeah, that guy's out of work. It sucks. But when you get rid of those kind of jobs for automation, that's one thing. But then when you come to the creative side, the creative side, the side that requires, you know, a heart and a soul and experience. And you start getting rid of that for a machine. I, I just, it doesn't make any sense to me. So on the one side, you've got Alana Pierce and her point of view. On the other side, you've got, um, Jesus, I forgot the name again. Okay, Colt Eastwood. There you go. I think of Dirty Harry, and I remember it, Who uh, who's, you know, erring on the side of Microsoft, which, you know, Okay, but um, I don't know if it's I don't know if it's a smart thing to sort of just brush this under the rug and say, no, nah, it's all going to be fine. Don't worry about it. They have they have nothing but good intentions in, in mind when it comes to, you know, creative people who are in school right now studying art or studying programming or studying, uh, you know, writing uh, because you have to study that stuff. And you, there are some people that are just naturally good at it and they become better. If you get rid of those people, we're in a we're in a world of trouble. We're in a world of trouble. Everything can't be artificial. Everything cannot be artificial. And it seems like nobody gives a shit. I don't know. You let me know what you think in the comment section below. I think it's it's frightening. I really do. I think it's frightening when a company says, and I'm not just picking on Microsoft, okay? There any company would do this. But when a company says that we have an AI solution to things that require life experience they, they require a person they require a heart and a soul and experience and emotion when you say you have an ai program to get rid of all of that i mean what's the point of having a medium that's creative like video games well what's the point we're all just sheep at that point hitting enter and that's it if, if that's the future that you want then you know Fuck it. I don't think I want that. And I think it's scary. I really do. And this was an example of one side extreme, the other side extreme, one side extreme negative, one side extreme positive with these two people tweeting each other or posting, whatever the hell you're supposed to call it now. And I think somewhere in the middle, like everything else, is the truth. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Thanks for watching the video. Hit the fucking like button and subscribe. Small channels need help. I need help. I can buy a pack of gum when I decide to monetize. YouTube monetize. YouTube puts friggin' ads on my videos and I can't even monetize yet because I don't have enough subscribers. Like, what are they getting? Enough money for a pack of gum? I don't understand it. Anyway, that's going to be it for the video. Again, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.